Hello guys, welcome back to Gajara Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Saints Row is having crashing at startup or won't launch. So how we can fix all these kind of issues. So let me directly get into this step. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in this power icon over here. Just click on this power icon. Go to this, uh, click on the start and go to the power icon over here and go for a restart. So once restart is done, we have to try launching the game. So this worked for many users, so you can try this out. And once you're done with this one, we can move to the next step. Next step is all about nothing but we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game on the Steam, which is one of the main reasons why we are having. So sometimes we have to try launching the game from the installation folder. For this, we just need to go over here on the Saints and Row, right click over here and go to the properties, go to the install it file and just click on the browse. So if you go back, you'll be able to see this particular path. That is this PC, Volume D, Steam Library, Steam Amps, Common, Saints and Row. So this is the, uh, install, uh, the uh, ins installation folder. Now from here, we have to click on this one and we have to check whether we are having this one, not this one. We have to go back over here. And now from we, did, we need to launch the game from here. So this is what we have to do as the first step. So you can also try two more steps. Hence, we are in the installation folder. We can try these steps. That is all about, we need to run the game as an administrator. For running the game as an administrator, we have to first navigate to the installation folder. Now from here, we have to go over here and we need to find this application. Right click and we have to go to show more options and we have to go to the properties, go to the compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK and try launching the game. This is what we have to do. Once you're done with this one, if the issue is still there, we can try with the next step. Next step is all about we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. For running the game in the compatibility mode, we have to go over here, right click and we have to go to the show more options, go to the properties, go to the compatibility, click on run this program in compatibility mode. First, you can either set this to Windows 7 and try launching the game. If that is not working, you can also set this to Windows 8 and also we can try launching the game. So once you are done with this one, we just need to close this and we need to close this as well and we need to go back and we need to try playing the game. If this is still, it's not working, we can try with the next possible workaround. One among them is we have to make sure the date, time, time and region should be correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search, go for settings, go for settings. Now from here, go to the left, tap, click on line, time and language. Now from here, go to the date and time. Now make sure the time and time zone should be correct. Oh, and also you have to turn the time zone automatically should be turned off. At the same time, this should be turned on as well. This should be turned on. If it is off, we have to turn this off. Now go back. Go to the language and region. Now from here, as you can see, you have to select the uh, country according to your geography. So you have to select it. Once you select this, we just need to close this and we need to go back and we need to try launching the game once again. If the issue is still there, you can also try with launching the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just click on the play button. At the same moment, you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and it worked for many users for the games like Remnant 2 Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart and even for many of these games. So you can try launching this and press Alt and Tab and it worked for many users. Even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can also try deleting the saved game file. So for this, we just need to go over here, go to the file explorer over here at the bottom. Now from here, we have navigate to this PC, go to documents over here. And over here, you'll be able to find the folder on the same central. When you start playing the game and you're saving each games, Auto save is enabled, you will be getting the folder. So you have to select the folder of the Saints and Row and we have to delete the folder. And keep in mind when you do this, you will be losing all the progressions of the game. But that is fine. It did work for many uses. So you can start, you can uh, delete it and once afterwards just close this and we can go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search and we have to go for control panel. Now from here, we have to go to system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall. 
Now from here go to allow and airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here we have to scroll down and we have to navigate to Saints and Row. So just go over here. Now we have to navigate to S. So as you can see the Saints row is already added. Make sure the private and public is checked. And also keep in mind, so if the game is not here, how we can add it? For this we just need to click on the change settings, go for allow another app, go for browse, go to this PC. If the game is installed on C, we have to open C first, navigate to program file x86, go to Steam over here, go to Steam Amps. Now from here go to the common, now from here we have to uh, select the game. So hence it is not in C, we have to go to the D. So I, this is for C users, those who are on the D just open the D, go to Steam library, go to Steam Amps, go to common. Now from here if you scroll down you will be able to see the Saints and Row, just open this. Select the folder SR file, now select this one and go for open and add it. So once you add it, you are done with this one. Make sure that you have to check both the files, that is private and public should be checked. So once they are done with this one, just close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the USB devices. For this what we need to do is, we might be connected with multiple things, for example, Logitech wheels, controllers, joystick and even many more might be connected to our USB ports, which, which means it's all kind of connected right now. So this is one of the reasons why many users are having an issue. So what we need to do is we just need to remove everything, even the controllers, joystick, remove everything. Once you remove everything, launch the game. So once you launch the game successfully, just connect back the controllers, joystick, everything, whatever it is, you have to just connect it back. Once you connect it back, we need to try launch the game. That is what we have to do. So once you're done with this one, it worked for many users in my knowledge. I found this from the Reddit and even uh, from the community, not for this game, for uh, the game, I think it is for, uh, in my knowledge, I think for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, one of the users mentioned this. So that is why I'm sharing it with you guys. So you can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but we need to perform a clean boot. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go to system configuration and we have to go to the services over here when you open this. Now go for hide all Microsoft services, not first. Go to the disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. The users who are watching this go for restart. Once the restart is done, just try launch the game and that will be working fine for you. So uh, and I'm in the middle of shooting, I'm gonna go for exit without restart. The users who are watching this go for restart then try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay. So just go over here in game, uh, go over here and go to the properties. Now from here go to the over here and enable the steam overlay while in game. You have to disable this. This is very important. If this is enabled, you have to disable this. Now launch the game and that will be working fine. So once you're done with this one, if the issue, issue is still there, you can also try with one more step that is giving the commands in the launch option. So just go over here in the launch option. We have to give the command that is DX11. First command is DX11 and try launching the game. If DX11 is not working, we have to give for DX12 and try launching the game. So DX11 is DX12. Whatever it is, just give these respective commands and launch the game. So once you're done with this one, try launch the game and most probably that's gonna help you guys out. So even if it's still, it's not working, we can try with these next steps. That is all about. What we need to do is, once we're done with this one, if it's given the commands is not working and all these things are not working, the next one is all about, we need to close all the overlay application. For this reason, we have to go over here in the start, right click over here and we have to go to the task manager. Right now, as you can see, when you go over here, you will be able to understood. That is, there are a lot of things running in the background. That is, there are 40, uh, sorry, 51 apps running in the background. So when you are launching the game, all these things are running in the background. So for me, I'm having 32 GB of RAM with a good spec. For me, this is not an issue. But those who are trying to play the game with a RAM of 8 GB, 4 GB, 16 GB, they're going to definitely have the nightmare because at the same time, this is also being running in the background, which is causing the crashing issue and all most issues which I mentioned above in the beginning. So what we need to do is we just need to uh, end the task, the unwanted things, for example, Discord, Reward Tuner, MSC Afterburner, etc., which comes in the category of overclocking and overlay application. We need to remove everything and once you remove it, just close this and we need to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but 
what we need to do is we just need to run the game or dedicate a graphics card so just go over here in the search and we have to go to the graphics settings now from here we just need to go over here you can see i have already added the game we have to add the same way just click on the browse now from here go to this pc go to local sd steam library steam apps and we have to go over here in the common now from here we have to navigate to sane central go to this particular one select the one and go for add so right now as you can see the sane central is added so just click on the option as you can see this is on let windows decide by default change this to high performance and go for save once you change this to high performance and go for save just close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search search for view advanced system settings go to the advanced tab go to the settings once again go to the advanced tab once again go for change make sure you have to keep this blank if you select this you'll not be able to select the local disk keep this blank select the local disk where the game is installed and in my case it is d so i'm gonna select c sorry d go for custom size and set the value for initial size and maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is three times the total ram so now we just need to go over here and we need to find the calculator so we just need to type the ram 32 gb is the ram and we have to type 1024 so we have to multiply this 1024 uh, this particular value with 1.5 because it is initial size is 1.5 times the total ram that is 49152 and we have to paste it now we have to go for the maximum size for the maximum size that is 32 gb multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 and that brings 98304 and we have to paste it so once you paste it we have to go for okay set every value has to be set do a restart it's not a mandatory and try launching the game increasing the vram date working for many users so we can try this out next one is all about we need to update the windows so just go over here in the search and we have to go to the settings go to the bottom left over here on the windows update make sure the windows is up to date this is very important the windows has to be up to date and as you can see the windows is up to date so update the windows once you're done with this one just go back and still the issues there you can also try updating the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the amd users nvidia users can go over here in this particular page and now from here you can see that is uh, you have to select everything like your product type product series product operating system etc everything should be selected so mine is geoforce and it is rtx 14 series is mine so i have to select this go over here in this particular one go for windows 11 and go for start search now from here if you scroll down we can see this that is 5 version is 537.13 is the version and we have this is uh, updated on or released on august 2 2023 just download this one install restart is a mandatory if you go over here in the amd just go to the graphics over here and we have to go to the submit and if you go to the submit you will be able to find this that if you're on windows 11 you have to download this one if you're on windows 10 we have to download this one and install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game so we can also try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus because it worked for many many of the users so just go over here and you can see that is x64 based processor so as you can see if the system is based on x64 you can download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one install restart is mandatory and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but the last and the least one is all about not the last there is two steps and one among them is we need to verify integrity of game file so it worked for many users so you can try this out so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties we have to go to the install it file and there is an option called verify integrity of game file so we just need to click on this particular one verify integrity of game file so what happens is this will cross check every single files of our game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by verify integrity of game file so this is very important and once it reach 100 percentage you'll be getting the play button once again try launching it once again so once you're done with this one try all these steps and the issues there we can try uninstalling and reinstalling the game for this we just need to go over here in the game go over here to the properties sorry not the properties select this one and go to the manage and install the game 
and we have to reinstalling it back but keep in mind if the game is installed on c try reinstalling it back on d if the game is installed on d try reinstalling it back on c and this is what we have to do and these are the possible workaround which can be done when you are having an issue with saints row is having all these kind of issue i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye